when it comes to system design, I have got two great resources for you. So make sure you watch till the end of this video. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Now, system design is not something which you can learn just overnight. It is a continuous journey and you get better with more and more practice. But when you have an upcoming interview or you want to revise all of the concepts, I know how daunting it can be. Have you ever looked at a system design resource and thought, oh my God, this is so much text. How will I remember all of this? Or let us say you want to revise all of the concepts and there is so much information to read. I just might have the solution for you. I am very happy to present to you system design companion flashcards and you will not find them anywhere else on the internet. All of these flashcards are designed in an intuitive and most importantly in a fun way because I always believe that if you are able to visualize the problem, if you are able to visualize the concept, then it sticks in your mind forever because then you can actually relate how things are happening and that is the sole purpose of these flashcards. Let me quickly show you how you can use these flashcards to your advantage. For example, you want to revise all of the system design fundamentals. So I have this flashcard available and notice all of these beautiful diagrams will help you to understand all of these core concepts immediately. You have the core principles, the key building blocks and the patterns and trade-offs. For example, just look at scalability. So what does vertical scaling mean? It means that you are using the same server, but just increasing your resources. So this is depicted in the diagram. Similarly, check out horizontal scaling. It means instead of just using the single CPU, you have now split up your process. So that is what is depicted over here. Similarly, now look at load balancer. What does it mean? When a user makes a request, you want to distribute the request based upon the load on each of the server. And similarly, you have caching, you have two different types of databases, and you have message queues and CDNs. Similarly, you have monolith services, microservices, and all of the design process. So these are all of the fundamental concepts. And when you look at this flashcard, immediately all of these things, they will come back to you. The purpose of these flashcards is not that you learn something new, but they are designed more around the fact that you already know about all of these concepts and you are just looking for quick revisions. You want to make sure that you are not missing out on anything. Similarly, let us look at one more flashcard and you will notice that the design itself will help you to remember and recall all of the major concepts involved. For example, let us take a look at horizontal versus vertical scaling. So what does that mean? Horizontal scaling means that you have a server and now instead of using a single server, you have now distributed your service. So this is what you can look in the diagram and it immediately strikes you. You can just remember this diagram and everything will start coming back to you. So what does that give? It gives you elasticity because you can easily add more servers available, right? It gives you fault tolerance. So if one of the server dies out, you still have five more servers available. Similarly, it is also cost effective because it is easier to have multiple servers rather than having a huge giant server. So this small diagram, it helps you to recall all of the things immediately and it becomes very easy to remember as well. If you look at the complexity and the network overhead, you can understand that, okay, such a structure will be hard to manage. It is complex to network all of them and manage it. Similarly, how about vertical scaling? It simply means that I had my initial server and when I have to scale up, my server becomes big. That means more memory, more RAM, more databases, correct? Now think about the pros and cons. Simplicity, it is easier to just keep on adding memory. No network overhead because you just have a single server available and you have a lower initial cost. You can start off with something. You don't have to worry about multiple servers and the networking complexity amongst them. So just by seeing these two diagrams, both the concept of a horizontal scaling and a vertical scaling becomes super simple to understand and even simpler to remember. If you just look at this flashcard immediately, you don't have to read any text. You don't have to remember all of the definitions because think about it. What is easier reading that, okay, vertical scaling is blah, 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 or rather I show you this image 
and everything just strikes you. Everything just pops up in your mind. And all of these colored representations also help you to understand the concept clearly. You are able to see the actual flow, the servers and how the distribution is happening. I really hope this will help you to understand things in a really quick manner. I want you to start using these resources such that you are able to grasp all of these concepts very, very quickly. And there it is. For my first announcement, I am uploading all of these resources absolutely free. You can find the link in the description below and grab all of these flashcards. They cover most of the fundamental topics that you would need when you are thinking about system design. And they are going to really help you during your coding and your interview processes. Load balancer, caching, databases, latency, throughput, cap theorem, it covers everything. So don't wait and get your free flashcards immediately now. I can't wait for you to start using them. But things don't end over here. Now the free pack covers all of the fundamentals. And honestly, it alone should be able to help you out a lot. But if you want to dig deeper, and if you are looking to cover almost every topic like the pub sub model, consistent hashing, API gateways, asset properties, base properties, distributed system, big data, I have also created the advanced pack. Same beautiful visual format, same intuitive design, just more topics. In fact, this advanced pack covers 20 extra topics from the fundamental topics that are already available for free. And here is something which makes all of this really, really special. Each of this flashcard has also got a companion PDF. The flashcard kind of gives you the aha moment that, okay, this is everything. And the companion PDF gives you the theory on why this works. Let me show you how they work together. For example, I have my flashcard front end versus back end. Now in the advanced pack, you will also get a companion PDF. This PDF talks about all of the theory that has been discussed in this particular flashcard and using both of these things together can actually make a very killer combo. For example, this is how you can use both the things. On one side of your screen, you can open up the companion PDF and on one side, you can actually open up your flashcard. Now look at this flashcard and it will actually help you to understand, okay, how is the flow working? And when you have to read the theory about it, it is all available in this PDF document. This is how you can quickly retain all of the information that you're reading. Because when you see something visually, it sticks in your mind very, very quickly. And do you remember how I just showed you the flashcard for horizontal versus vertical scaling? This is the flashcard that's available. And this is the entire companion PDF. So if you're unsure about anything, just open them side by side and you will be able to understand all of this if the diagrams are not making sense. I have tried my very best that these diagrams are self-sufficient on their own, but this companion PDF can come in handy whenever you are in doubt. Now look, creating these flashcards, the companion PDFs, all of the diagrams and these images took me a lot of weeks and it took me a lot of effort. So I'm putting a very nominal price on it because I really want you guys to succeed. Just think about it. What is the cost of not being prepared in an interview? So try out the free pack first. If it clicks to you, if you are able to derive value from it, if it is able to help you retain everything that you're looking at it, grab the advanced pack whenever you are ready. To summarize everything, here is what you can do right now. First of all, download the free flashcards. The link is available in the description below. And you can try them out in your next study session whenever you do it. And if you feel that it was helpful, grab the advanced pack whenever you're ready. You get all of these topics available. Very beautiful images, same intuitive design, and you also have a companion PDF that can help you in any of your upcoming tests and interviews. And lastly, if you find all of this helpful, just do me a favor and share this video to anyone who is also preparing for the interviews. Let us help each other grow and succeed. And don't forget to click the subscribe button if you want to see more of these upcoming videos in your feed. I would also like to give a huge shout out to all of the channel members who support my channel. You guys really keep me going. And as a member, you do get priority reply to your comments and early access to new videos as well. And also remember that now you can schedule a one-to-one -one session with me and we can discuss about almost anything. I can't wait for you all to try at the System Design Companion and watch you grow.
Stay tuned for my upcoming video. Until then, see ya.